Defenders must feel like they're going through hell trying to account for the warrior's floor spacing, which is the result of constantly flowing off-ball motion and beastly screen setting from the likes of Draymond Green and Kevon Looney. Three rookies in Ryan Rollins, Patrick Baldwin Jr., and Gui Santos will have to quickly adjust to Steve Kerr's advanced playbook if they want any shot at cracking the rotation. Warriors president Bob Myers doesn't get nearly enough credit for designing the most dominant NBA team of this era, perfectly building up Golden State's roster around Stephen Curry since being hired back in 2012. While the reigning champions three draft picks from this past June in Rollins, Baldwin, and Santos will have to overcome the typical rookie adjustment phase, as you're about to find out, they could be just three of many draft robberies for this Warriors organization. If you're an NBA fan, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and if you can't wait for the season, hit thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's get into it. After the product of Toledo, Ryan Rollins impressed Warriors coach Steve Kerr during a pre-draft workout. Golden State traded the number 51 pick and $2 million in cash to the Atlanta Hawks so they could select Rollins at pick number 44. There were concerns about the 6'4", 20-year-old's wiry 180-pound frame and his lack of consistency from deep, as he only shot 31.7% from beyond the arc. Also, his attention to detail defensively has a long way to go before it's disciplined enough for heavy minutes in an NBA rotation. With that said, Ryan Rollins has Devin Booker-esque perimeter shot-creating upside, and as the game slows down for him over the years, the shiftiness and poise in his bag will pay dividends at the pro level. It's incredible that 43 picks went by without this man hearing his name called. In two NCAA seasons, Ryan became just the fourth player in his school's history to score 1,000 points over that span. 21-22 saw Rollins average 18.9 points, 6 boards, and 3.6 dimes, posting 32 double-digit scoring performances, guiding the Toledo Rockets to back-to-back -to -back regular season conference titles for the first time since 1981. Rollins makes up for being below the average NBA height with his 6'10 wingspan and 36.5 inch vertical jump. In terms of his skill set, whether it's facing up in isolations and utilizing evasive triple threat moves to keep defenders off balance, or creating shots in the pick and roll, Ryan's sophomore season displayed that he's a versatile threat offensively. Even when a screen set on the left side, Rollins can pull off Smitty moves to keep the defense guessing and explode to his left hand. Despite the defender reading his jab step into a drive and staying right there, Ryan's footwork and instincts transition him to the post where he bumps off his man before drifting back to the foul line. You're lying if you say that doesn't resemble D-Book. Rollins seems wiry to the naked eye, but when you watch him constantly create opportunities for himself by embracing and bodying off contact, it's evident he's got underrated strength displaying that he's got no issue with getting forced into the post. This time, Rollins fools his defender with a head fake and spins off his right pivot foot for a beautiful fadeaway. In terms of the perimeter magic, after getting the mismatch to his disposal, this double between the legs size up and nifty off-handed in and out dribble gets Ryan's matchup thinking drive, but key in on the savvy footwork to just stop on a dime and step back. Impressive stuff. Four-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA player, and DPOY Draymond Green was the 35th overall pick back in 2012. 18 and a half point per game scorer Jordan Poole was the 28th overall pick in 2019. Three-time NBA champion and top rebounder Kevon Looney was the 30th pick in 2015. You can argue Steph and Clay are also draft steals at pick number 7 and 11, and that Moses Moody plus Jonathan Kaminga are steals in the making. But in terms of very late round robberies, 2022 may have seen the Warriors get three of them in one year. Not only am I a fan of the upside which Ryan Rollins has, but Patrick Baldwin Jr. at pick number 28 and Gui Santos at pick number 44 are also seeming like deliberative draft selections. Even as PBJ is recovering from an ankle injury, a Warriors staff member spoke on their early impressions of the 19-year-old out of Milwaukee, saying, I've been shocked by what I've seen in an exciting way." End quote. The 6'9 Baldwin can potentially be a star in his role in Draymond Green-esque fashion. From the tape I've seen on him, Baldwin Jr. is essentially the modern-day version of Sean Livingston, 
with his point guard abilities while standing at an overwhelming 6 foot 10 inches tall and weighing 220 pounds. Both Livingston and Baldwin have tight handles and long strides in the open court for their size. Only difference is, Sean thrived at operating from the post. Baldwin Jr. can score from the post, but Patrick's volume mostly comes from the perimeter. He took six three-point attempts per game in his freshman season, making just 26.6% of them. However, with a big man-esque frame and guard skills, having a consistent deep range shot would be the ultimate complement to Baldwin Jr.'s game given he's got around a 9 foot 5 inch release point on his jumper. That size doesn't get wasted by any stretch of the imagination, as Baldwin uses his well above average frame for a point forward to make imposing rejections, spring up for easy catch and finishes in the lane like a big man, and take advantage of minis for easy layups when attacking the hoop. However, Patrick's defense on the ball needs to get a lot better, as opponents tend to catch him off balance when attacking him downhill, Offensively, heavy contact from defenders has too much of an effect on him, which forces him to settle for longer, even more heavily contested looks. He's not as explosive as he could be, and his speed needs some improvement as well. He also battled ankle injuries throughout his lone season at Milwaukee, which is probably why 27 general managers passed on him in this year's draft. But the bottom line with Baldwin Jr. is, he shot much better from the field and from deep in high school than he did in college, and with such a small sample size in his college career, his upside could be a lot higher than anticipated. He's extremely under control when pulling up for jumpers, and has the capability to get buckets on mismatched defenders who are either assigned to him or forced to switch onto him. PBJ is also a solid defender off the ball, and his role with the dubs will obviously be completely different than it was during his lone year at Milwaukee. Then there's the product of the NBB, a basketball league in Brazil, Gui Santos. At 6 foot 8, 209, the solid 20 year old is the modern prototype for a wing player. Considering he's so young with such an intriguing build, has shooting chops and four years of not NCAA experience but pro experience, that's why Santos has a chance to be one of many Warrior draft steals. Watch Gui go coast to coast and finish with the smooth Manu Ginobili Euro step. Next possession, he comes down and gets the defense guessing incorrectly, shockingly stopping on the perimeter after faking the attack this time to pull up from long range like he's Carmelo in his prime. In the Summer League, while the aforementioned Patrick Baldwin Jr. sat out with an ankle setback, Gui Santos shined by averaging 11 points on 46% shooting from the field and 38% from distance in seven games between the San Francisco and Las Vegas Summer Leagues. Who has more potential, Ryan Rollins, Patrick Baldwin Jr., or Gui Santos? Two shoutouts next video, but the Community Speaks winners are set. The final top five are Swu, Boston Haltane, Kent Saludo, Dylan Popoff, and Hamish S. Leave your social media down below if I don't have it already so I can message you about your giveaway. Now the Speaks board resets and a new giveaway begins, this time ending on December 21st, so leave your take on today's question and a big congratulations to the five winners. The story is yours in Community Speaks, and thanks to everyone for contributing their in-depth opinions.